Welcome back. I'm Carl Wiegers, the author of Pearls from Sand, How Small Encounters Lead to Powerful Lessons. Through the wonders of modern technology, people can readily share their opinions with the entire world. Now you can hear multiple individuals making equally fervent claims about contradictory facts and truths. So what can you believe? Consider the myriad chain emails that circulate through the internet. They warn you about the latest catastrophic computer virus that will steal your identity and destroy your computer. They express outrage about one side or the other of some polarizing political issue. They make extreme claims about some religious, cultural, or historical topic. The emails are just to forward this vital information to everyone we know, thereby propagating the author's viewpoint regardless of how valid it is. Most such messages are false and propagating them spreads fear, distrust, and misinformation to no useful end. While I can't measure these claims myself, other people have spent considerable time and effort checking out these messages. An excellent online resource is Snopes.com, which debunks many of the internet email rumors. Websites such as factcheck.org and politifact.com publish the facts behind many questionable claims made by politicians. I trust those assessments more than people who are foaming at the mouth with rage. Sometimes learning the facts leads to a conclusion that conflicts with your worldview or with your gut. Which are you going to believe? There's an old saying that when the map and the terrain do not agree, you should always believe the terrain. If the data and my opinion conflict, I'm going to go with the data wherever it takes me. The late U.S. Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan said, Everyone is entitled to his own opinion, but not his own facts. Try to determine the facts before you spread an opinion.